What's up guys? It's me, Cloud Gaming. You're bringing another video, and in today's video, I'm gonna be playing some more Modern Warfare. Um, maybe if my game stops lagging, yeah, I'm gonna be playing some more Modern Warfare. I'm gonna be using the 725. I actually made a, or I found a really good class, but I made a couple adjustments to make it uh, extremely good. I'm also gonna be using the uh, 1911. Uh, apparently, I've actually used this a bit. I don't remember ever using it um, that at least that much, but apparently, I have used it. A decent bit because here let me show you apparently I've gotten almost all camels on it I don't remember using it like really at all but apparently I have so um as well as the uh, I'm gonna do it in a different class um M19 apparently I have got dole on which I I don't know if I did a ch or if I did a video on that or not, but I don't ever rem I don't even remember it. So uh, that's cool. Um, let's go ahead and yeah, I'll do that. Only 15 rounds. I'll do that. There we go. How does that have less mobility? Oh, it's because of that. And that. And that. Okay. I'll take away that, and I'll add that. Uh, this isn't going to be the main focus of the video. I just wanted to show you guys. Um, this is the main focus of the video. So, basically, um, I leveled up this 725 quite a bit. Um, actually, I'm going to turn on hard, or hard line. I leveled up this 725 quite a bit. I went from, I think I had it at like level 10 just from picking it up, killing people with it, and stuff like that. And because it is uh, double XP right now for another two days, probably one day by the time this comes out, um, I was able to level up quite a bit. So, what you would think the best thing to do to get good range and stuff on this gun would be put on the longest um, barrel, put on the uh, best chassis for long range, put on the tightest gun spread, stuff like that. But, it actually isn't. So, what you're going to use is monolithic suppressor. This does add damage range um, and sound, sus uh, sus sound suppression, um, taking away a little bit of mobility. What you could use is the tighter pellet, spray, tighter pellet spread along with the damage range. But it actually takes away a little bit of the accuracy, and if you say, and if you see, it adds just barely range, um, any range. Uh, then what you're gonna want to do is add the sawed-off barrel. Uh, basically, all this does is make you um, have to be, I guess, less accurate. Um, it doesn't really matter about the wider uh, pellet spread. It doesn't really affect it at all. What it, what it would do is at closer range. Um, I think at closer range, it would make it better I, I don't know I don't really use it but basically you're gonna use the sawed off barrel um, in order to get that aim down sight speed and that movement speed you're then gonna do the slug rounds uh, this is basically the best uh, thing about this class because what the slug rounds do is it takes all of your pellets and it squeezes them together a lot more which is the best thing um, for this class um, for this um, setup that we're doing, you're then gonna have to you're then gonna have the Tempest uh, Slim Grip, which adds a little bit of aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed, and then you're gonna have the sawed off stock, which adds uh, movement speed and aim down sight speed. Now, if you'll notice, the recoil uh, and aiming stability is lost a lot during this, uh, which isn't actually that bad because. It, it only has two shots, but basically, because of the slug rounds, even though we have a lot of things that, uh, we have a couple things that average and then a couple things that take it away, you can also see that, uh, we, or you will see in the gameplay, that you can get uh, one-shot kills in core at a decent range, and it's pretty good. If you look at the gameplay from yesterday, uh, the Talus back lot, uh, gameplay, I think I was using the 725, I don't remember, but, um... Without further ado, for those of you guys uh, just tuning into the stream, uh, this is a class setup. It's pretty good. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and get into a game of. I would do Shire Park, but I don't really know that I want to, so I'll just do quick play. Okay. Um, I'm tier 
84. Um, how many days? I think there's like three le weeks left of the battle pass remaining, or of the season remaining. Um, 17 days, so about two weeks, but. That should be pretty uh, easy to finish leveling up, I would think, because I did start it, actually, I think a little late in the season, so shouldn't be too bad. I don't know why I'm getting such bad pain. Oh, stop, stopped at 75. Okay, hard hat should actually work pretty well. Um, let's see. Actually, what I think I want to do... I want to... Okay, so what do you think I'm going to... I think I'm gonna do is oh shoot um um where is it? I'll have to do it once I get in the game. What I want to do is add the kill chain uh, perk, which basically means if you get kills while or if you get kills with the streak that you earned in that life, you add um more kills towards your next. <laughs> Scavenger art. Okay. I thought it was a range, but a pretty decent range. Hard hat was probably not the best map to throw this on, but to make it work. I feel like there's somebody camping up here. Maybe not. I forget that with this, uh, specialist class, you don't actually get street mid, it sucks. I went super negative, I went like 2 and 5, but... Two and four, yep. I went like point five, but I joined in super late, so we were losing by like we lost by a lot. I don't remember how much we were losing by when we joined. I think I get a gun from this tier. I think that this might actually be. I'm gonna try this out, because I actually do think that, I mean, this one is definitely not as good as this one, but I think that this one might actually be pretty good, because it takes away the aim down sight speed, what you get from that, but at the same time, you're still getting a little extra aim down sight speed than you normally would, and you're not really losing much, so, I think I might test that out, because it gives you just a little bit more range and tighter pellet spray, 
tire pellet spread, so hopefully that hip fire should be a little bit better. Hard hat again. Nice. Okay. Um. There we go. Oh. That is way worse. That is like super noticeable. Team deathmatch! We've got enemy inbound, lock and load! What I'm thinking would be the best thing is put the monolithic Sending a target down there. And then once you have those two, just Really, man? You're camping. Come on. This is hard hat too. So Worst map to camp on it. You're just sitting over there. I'm shot. Well, that that seemed like it was even better. Another guy coming from here. Gunshots over here, kind of suppressed. Got hit. Obviously, 14 meters isn't that much, but 725, I feel like it's pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna take those off actually. Oh, I can get my streets. I do want these streets, that way I can get a UAV and stuff. We're in the lead. I don't know how good I'm actually gonna be with the 725, because I usually don't do these. Super rushy classes. I usually do things where I can. And I challenge at long and medium ranges and short ranges as well, but I thought this one would be good for like I really just made this class for shipment or um shoot house I guess would work as well. Teammate. Oh yeah, I'm Enemy not the challenging that. It's a death wish. We've got a UAV that. on station, ready for flyover. That's the only one. Cluster strike is going for launch. UAV entering the AO. Where are they? Looks like they're not coming towards the middle. That was kind of a waste. Friendly UAV overhead. Just in case somebody had ghost, I guess. Oh, see. Be advised, UAV is being located. Hey, oh, I got shot. Oh yeah, it uh, displays name tag. Enemy UAV overhead! I'm not even gonna challenge that. I don't even like that. We're halfway there, keep fighting! Enemy at the center! So I feel like this uh, shotgun from what I've used is a medium range. 
good at uh, long range, long range, long range, but at close range it doesn't feel like it works at all. Ooh, thank you, teammate. Enemy precision Enemy airstrike, better. take cover! Like whenever I'm hit by him, I feel like this is soft. Ready for flyover. Would you like the UAV, please? Go first, teammate. And this is why we have dead silence. Enemy cruise missile incoming! This is a cruise missile coming to you. UAV is bingo fuel. Is RTB for reason. Nope. Coming through here. Yep, right there. Good job, teammate. You didn't kill him. Allied cruise missile away. Friendly UAV overhead. Let me set this track a bit, but it should be right away. Yep. Got a veto on station, ready to deploy. Enemy at the station. You have to deploy. I'm going to order Robbie on station, ready to attack. Excuse me. Should work okay. Nope. Two kills, not bad. See how many deaths we got. Final kill was my VTOL too. Nice. 22 and 4. I'm glad I got a before. 22 and 4 is pretty good. That okay. Um, I got something new for the AK. Oh, it's a charm. Oh yeah, smoking, spendable, care package, and then the one for one. There we go. Uh, I think the gas mask is cooler. Um, oh, I got a new attachment. Okay, under barrels. Um, if you're running this class, I wouldn't at all recommend uh, using under barrels. Under barrels, from what I've noticed help a little bit but it's a lot worse than or it doesn't help as much as say uh the other different stuff which is the heck i thought i equipped the tempest 32 inch also maybe i took it off i think i took it off yeah because it was aiming too slow um other than that yeah, that's the class setup. Uh, so, pretty quick video, guys. Pretty quick stream as well for uh, you tuning in. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you really liked it, please do consider subscribing. Um, I post daily Modern Warfare, daily Red Dead, um, or 
some every other day. Uh, just basically the, n the news for Red Dead, some top fives and stuff like that. I post class setups and gameplay of uh, Modern Warfare. If you want to check out where my streams are, they're on Twitch, uh, Cloud Gaming Streams. If you want to check out my YouTube, uh, for you watching, it's just Cloud Gaming. Um, you probably won't be able to find me if you just look up Cloud Gaming. I'd look up Cloud Gaming Red Dead Redemption 2 or Cloud Gaming Modern Warfare or something like that. Um, if you didn't like it, please do tell me why down in the description below or you guys watching again on the stream down in the chat. I'll see you guys in the next one and goodbye.